Hi, this is Coach Schoberg, and today we're going to be taking a look at the 2016 National Sprint Round, problem number 29. This was the most commonly missed problem at the National Round this year. Only 10 students got it right, so it's worth trying. Okay, here's the problem. Octagon A, B, C, D, E, F, G, shown here, has eight sides of equal length, and A, C, E, G is a square. If the area of square ACEG is 7 ninths of the area of octagon ABCDEFG, H, what is the ratio of the area of square BDFH to the area of octagon ABCDEFGH? Express your answer as a common fraction. So this is a problem that gets a little tricky. First thing to note is if this area is 7, we just call it 7 to make it simple. And then the entire area, we're going to call 9, the entire area of the octagon. That means that each of these triangles must have an area of 1 half so that we can get it to sum to 9. So a total area of 2 for the triangles. The next thing we want to note is if we did something like this, we would have side length as square root 7, which in my opinion is kind of ugly. So I'm going to scale up this triangle. I'm going to scale it up by multiplying each area by 7. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and erase and make my new areas. So now I'm going to call this area 49, and each of these have an area that's now 7 halves. This is going to make something much more simplistic because now we know that each side length here has an area of 7 to make that area of 49. Okay, so that's going to look a lot prettier. So now if we have this triangle here that has a base of 7 and its area is 7 halves, well, that leads to know that its height equals 1. Okay, because obviously 7 times 1 divided by 2 equals an area of 7 halves. Okay, so I'm going to call the height of this triangle 1, and the height of this triangle 1. Okay, now watch here. Here's the cool thing. What I'm now going to do is draw in my square, BHFD. I noticed something really cool. If I take the diagonal of this square, it's taken up of three parts. It has this little height of 1, okay? This height right here is 7, and this bottom has a height of 1. So the diagonal of the square equals 9, okay? Most of us that are in math counts know the formula, or a formula for a square is diagonal 1 times diagonal 2. I guess this works for any rhombus, all divided by 2. So we get an area here of 9 squared over 2, or 81 halves. Okay, keep that in mind because it's going to come in handy. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and get some more. So notice that the area of my total octagon, as I scaled it, without loss of generality, was going to be 49, was the area of the square inside, plus four triangles that each have an area of 7 halves. So this would be 49 plus 14. This area is 63 for the octagon. Now the area of BDFH that I just found, square B, BDFH, we just found had an area of 81 halves. And this asks us to find the ratio. So the ratio of square BDFH area, 81 halves, divided by the total octagon's area of 63. We can simplify this to 81 over 126. Dividing both the numerator and denominator by 9, I get a ratio of 9 fourteenths. That's actually the final answer, what I'm looking for. 